Well, the quick answer is that yes, both conductors radiate, but together they do not radiate very effectively. And the reason is that the currents are flowing in opposite directions. If you compare the top conductor, like in this segment, with the bottom conductor. As a result, the fields that they create largely cancel each other out. Before we design a better antenna, let's first consider what causes a conductor to radiate. Electric current is the mass migration of charges, electrons, in a particular direction. Hence, J, current density, is a vector. For simplicity, let's first consider just one free electron in free space and this electron is initially at rest. It's just sitting there. An electron at rest will have a Coulomb force, a Coulomb field surrounding it. The electric fields spraying inward, in this case, in all directions, since it's negatively charged. So these are electric fields due to this electron. These electric fields are pointing inward, and over time, they're going to travel radially outward in all directions from the electron at the speed of light. So if I were to observe this later on in time, these vectors, the electric fields, will extend out further and further and further. This assumes a thread model that's used in physics. Next, let's say this electron is now moving to the right. So moving this direction at 30% of the speed of light c. How would the electric field from a moving electron, 30% the speed of light, look compared to the one that's stationary here on this slide? How would they be different from each other? You can pause the video if you like. Well, all the electric fields are still emitted by the electron equally in all directions, and these electric fields still travel away from the location of the electron at the speed of light. Here though, since the electron is now moving to the right, the uh, field lines will be bunched up on the right side of the electron in the direction of the traveling electron. This is because the electron is moving in the same direction as the electric fields that it's emitting, and the electric fields are only moving a little bit faster to the right than the electron is moving. Now, what if the electron were moving even faster, say 70% um, the speed of light? What would those electric fields look like? Well, the fields on the right side would be bunched up even more. And that's because the electron is traveling even faster compared to the electric fields in this, uh, on this on the left side, the case on the left side. Now, for these two electrons traveling at different speeds, is there any radiation being created? No. The electrons are both moving at constant speeds, and they both just have electric fields that are just flowing radially outward from them. So there's no radiation in this case, and what do you think instead needs to happen? What, what do the electron needs, need to do in order to generate radiation?